Did Harriet Tubman plan an armed insurgency during the Civil War? Can you time travel? And if so, can you get off at the wrong stop? <laughs> right? Oh. And how do you get humor out of a subject like slavery? These are all questions you might get answers to if you're lucky enough to see the Habitat Theater's production of Harry and the Thief, which starts a week from Thursday. Joining me now to tell us all about this time-bending comedy are Kate Lindsay, the artistic director of the Habitat and the current production's director. Welcome to BK Live. Thank you. We're also happy to welcome Sigrid Gilmer, the playwright. Thank you for being here. In here. Hi. And the woman herself. <laughs> Playing Harry or Harriet Tudman is Ngozi Onyawu. Thank Thanks. you for being here. Sure, thanks for having me. So this is an exciting premise, to be sure. We're sitting here, <laughs> the woman is coming to the 20, she's getting her time on mm -hmm. the stage as well. It's definitely time that we've aligned all of these things. So I want to start with you and just say, what inspired you as the woman with the words? Mm -hmm. um, a couple of things. One, I was inspired just by Harriet Tubman and her story. I read um, just a little anecdote about her carrying a gun when she ushered mm -hmm. folks to freedom and her threatening folks who got scared, understandably, that, you know, they're right. making this ginormous life change. That's probably not, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> right, to say the least. To say the least, yeah, right? Yeah. It's a really big transition for them. <laughs> so that people would get frightened and yeah. she would tell them, she'd point a gun, so you're gonna be dead or free. And for me, that just, that was like an action movie moment. Like, mm -hmm. it was just the coolest, toughest, hero-like thing right. that I could think of. And I was like, why have I not seen mm -hmm. Harriet Tubman portrayed that way? Gotcha. And so that was the main impetus. Like, I wanted to make something more a Harriet Tubman story that I wanted to watch, and I like action movies. Right. And so right here, it's like, I got this. Yeah, yeah. I got this. I'm more cool. Okay. I'm going to save you. I'm going to save everybody. So, yeah. Katie, the crew and I were talking about this earlier, and we were saying, how do you not make this Hogan's Heroes for slavery? Like, how do you <laughs> keep it in context with the great words and make it funny, but also relevant and give it that heart? What was your challenge as the director? Well, I think the gift of Sigrid's work is that it's both of those things are in there. The human nature of these characters and the heart that they have is in the script. You know, mm -hmm. there's there's love stories. There's there's um, a woman who sort of finds her true calling as a soldier, as somebody who you know um, wants to kind of be fighting for her freedom. Yeah. Um, but there's also there's all this fun action movie references. So it's sort of like just honoring that, all, honoring both of those things which are already in the script. Well, Ngozi, you are charged with playing Harry yeah. herself. Yeah. So now she's like a rock star. She's like a total at this rock moment, star. we're totally at peak Harry and Tubman. <laughs> So what are you bringing to the characterization of someone who we frankly don't have a lot of Images source of her. And, right. I mean, I, th stories. I think the really great thing about getting to play her now at this time, especially with Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. and how that's really influenced our art, you know, we hear like, oh goodness, not another slave story, but we really are now beginning to hear sort of like the heroic stories, the rebellious stories. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, Sigrid also wrote a really funny script. That was the huge thing. I was like, hold on, what's she saying? <laughs> hold on, what's she doing? Hold on, I could just traveling gun run. You know, and I could just be me, <laughs> you know, and for me, it actually made me realize the sort of the Harriet Tubman that's in all of us. Mm. Um, and there's so much contemporary stuff also within the landscape of the play. So for me, I'm just like bringing the fun and it's like the most empowering slave you've ever mm. story I think that you've really seen. So really, I feel quite good about myself after every rehearsal because it's like, hey, follow me, you know? <laughs> um, and I just, you know, it's just like who needs like fictional DC comics? Mm. <laughs> quite frankly, when you get to play Harriet Tubman, Tubman, because she was everything, you know. Um, and I'm doing research on my own to really be like, oh my goodness, she is like, filling all this she was stuff. a superhero. She was a superhero under Absolutely. extraordinary circumstances. Yeah. So it doesn't, you know, there's not much that you have to do. Mm -hmm. You just got to kind of step into it right. and uh, and hope that you can sort of fulfill this huge. Thing. Well, yeah. speaking of fulfilling huge things, I happen to have seen uh, the GoFundMe you guys did for the Habitat, where you were talking about the show, and there were so many phenomenal points that I'm sure there are a lot of modern-day Harriets who are pioneering and forging for women and their voices, and you guys are doing that on the theater stage. 
Yeah, well, it's um, the sort of the mission of the Habitat. We founded a company to support work by women and um, stories about women. Mm -hmm. And um, because the shocking thing is that even in theater, which you think would be one of the more progressive fields, mm -hmm. right. the number, the percentage of of plays being produced by female writers is still at like 20 percent, and then writers like women of color is like. 3 percent or something right. crazy like that, um, which is just, it, it's just wrong, you yeah. know. It, um, and what are, you know, the kind of work that I want to see, that I want to go to the theater and see, is I want to see myself reflected in that. I want to see the people that I see in the world reflected on stage. Mm -hmm. um, so we were very lucky to find this play, um, which in particular just, all of the female characters, all of the characters, but all the female characters in particular have such agency over their own stories. Mm -hmm. Like they might be facing, you know, they're, they might be enslaved, they might be, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, rape, right. um, but they're empowered in the way that they are dealing with their fate. They're in control of their own story, mm -hmm. which is a really incredible thing to be able to be a part of. Well, uh, we're definitely looking forward to getting out next Thursday. Tell us about the run and where we can find tickets and catch up with you guys. Definitely. Um, you can buy tickets on Artfully. You can go to the Habitat's website at www.thehabitattheater.com, and um, we'll, we'll be at the Robert Moss Theater. So I'm going to ask you, as the woman, <laughs> what's your favorite part of the show? Like, what do you get most excited about oh, in jazz man. for that moment, that dialogue, that scene? What um, is it for you? I don't want to give a lot of stuff away, okay. but there is a pretty awesome... Um, escape scene. So it's when she's guiding and it's a pretty epic uh, uh, when the when she's guided them to freedom and it's also hilarious. Okay. So um, yeah, so that's that's I'm I'm having a lot of fun with the physical action of the play. So the final yeah. word is going to go to you who came up with the words. So writing as I know it is a pretty solitary venture. So what's it been like for you to be in Brooklyn and in New York City with these actors in this context at this like apex with Harriet Tubman in the news to see your play come to life? It's been it's been an absolute joy. Like every day in the room is hysterical, and we make each other laugh. And it's it is very nice to be in a company of people, to be living it outside of my own head and not just making myself laugh, which is kind of weird, like being alone in my room. And <laughs> it's so funny, but to be with people and to share it and just um, it's been incredible. It's been. The Habitat's been incredibly welcoming, and Katie's been an awesome collaborator, and Ngozi has been fantastic Thank and amazing. You. And just to be with all the actors has been tremendous. It's been really great. Well, we definitely are excited about this production <laughs> and the landscape of the theater getting very diverse with yeah. women and people of color. So once again, how can we get tickets to come out to see Harry and the Thief? You can check out our website at www.thehabitattheater.com and find tickets there. Phenomenal. So it opens next Thursday. Find yourself there. We're really excited about it. Congratulations. Thank ladies. you so much.